Estimate the five number summary and then sketch the box plot that would correspond to this histogram, which shows the number of runs scored by professional baseball players in 1996. The histogram shows 336 players. Now this number right here is important to me. If I'm going to be looking for the five number summary, that means that I'm trying to fill in these quartiles. I want to know these five numbers that split our data into quarters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that total number of players and divide by four. What this number 84 tells me is that there are 84 data points when I move from the minimum to Q1. It takes 84 data points to go from that point to that point. Same for Q1 to uh, Q2 right here. So if I add 84 to this, that puts me at 168. Now the 168th data point is the median. That makes sense because that's half of 336, just like it's supposed to be. And then if I add 84 to this guy again, I get 252. So I want to keep track of these numbers because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my histogram and I'm going to find where these guys are. So 84, let's see, I've got 22 players, I'm going to say, in this first bin right here. In this second bin, I've got 60. So that means that between these two bins right here, I'm looking at 82 players. That means that the 84th player that I'm looking for has got to be somewhere in this third bin. Now, I don't know the values of the points in this bin, but I know that they've got to be between 20 and 30. So I'm just going to estimate that the 84th value, which is Q1, is 25, right between 20 and 30. Okay, now I'm going to go look for the median. The median should be the 168th data point. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this data right here and just estimating here, I'll call that 53. Okay, I'm at 135. Uh, this I'm going to guess is 31. Now I'm looking at 166. I'm going for 168. Okay, so all I know is that the 168th player is somewhere in this bin somewhere in this bin. This is 40 to 50, so I'm going to call that median 45. Okay. Now let's keep going here. So this is the 30, mm, I don't know, let's call that 34. I've got 34 in that bin, and then this one right here has 200, uh, excuse me, not 200. This one right here looks to be 22 again. This one right here looks to be, I'd say, 24. Okay, I'm at 246 right now. I'm going for 252. So I know that that 252nd player is somewhere between 70 and 80 here. It's somewhere in this bin because when I counted up all of these bins until here, I got 246 data points. So I'm going to say between 70 and 80, that Q3 must be 75. Now how do we fill in the min and the max? Well, let's come down here and just say we've got counts in here. It's between 0 and 10. I'm just going to estimate this min to be 5. Up here, I'm going to do the same thing and call that 175. I'm going to use this five number summary now to create my box plot. And bear with me, I'm using IPE. This is uh, the best thing I can think of to draw this with on the computer right now. But I've got my axis set up here from 0 to 180. And let's take a look at uh, Q1 to Q3 first. I'm going to draw my box. The meat of my box is happening from Q1 to Q3. Okay, so Q1 was 25 and Q3 was 75. So I'm going to draw a box that goes from 25 to 75. There's my box. And let's go ahead and fill this guy. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now I am going to take a look at the median now and I've got to put a line for my median at 45.
Okay, so this is the box part of my box and whisker plot. Now let's take a look at what we've represented. So far, we've represented these three points in the box. Now it's time to take a look at the whiskers. And for the whiskers, I need to think about my IQR. Remember that the IQR is Q3 minus Q1. So in that case, this is 50. And then what I want to do is I want to take 1.5 times my IQR. So 1.5 times the IQR. This number is always 1.5 right here. And um, that's going to equal 75 in this case. Okay, it's just a coincidence that it happens to be the same as this number. But what this is going to do is this is going to tell me about the fences. The fences are how we determine where the outliers are. So what I want to do here is I want to come and mark my fences. So from 75, I go out another 75 because that's the number that I just found for the fence. So 75 plus 75 makes 150. And I'm going to go put a nice line there at 150. Okay, and this is my fence. You don't leave these in your final box plot, but we need to mark it. Now what I do is I go to Q1, and then I turn around and put a fence in the other direction. Okay, but if I go 75 this way, I'm going to be in the negatives. We don't even have any data points that low. My minimum value was 5, so I'm not even going to bother with this fence over here. I don't need it. Now it's time for the whiskers. So I I'm going to take a look at my minimum and maximum values, and the min is 5, so what I do is I make a line that comes back to 5, and then I'm going to do the same out here. So this goes to 175. Okay, now my maximum value is outside of the fence, right? I come all the way out to 175. That means that I'm only going to go to the fence with the whisker and delete my fence, okay? You're going to erase it when you sketch your own. Now, what this is going to do is I've got my box plot here, and then any points that are beyond this are considered outliers. I come over here, 150. It looks like there are maybe two plus 4 plus 1. Okay, I'll call that 7 points. I'm not even sure exactly where these points lie. But I do know that the largest one is 75. Okay? This is the idea of plotting a box and whisker plot from a histogram. We take a look at the box plot. We can't really tell what the modes are like here, but we can see that the IQR is from 25 to 75. That information is right in front of us. We see that the median is 45. That's right in front of us again. And we see that this is skewed to the right for two reasons. The first reason that it's skewed to the right is because um, the center of the distribution here is showing us that this part right here is larger. That means that they're that this is stretched out. Okay, we also see that the whisker stretches way out to the right and we have some outliers on the right. So this thing is skewed to the right.